Hey gang, how's everybody doing? It's been a while since I made a car vlog from over here at the parking lot. I thought I'd make one today and give everybody an update on my health. Um, actually, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I'm not taking, I went to the doctor. I think I've told you all that. I, I've been to the doctor. They gave me some uh, medicine, uh, uh, some Balter stuff that I told you about. I'm not taking any of that stuff. It uh, made me uh, made me sick, and I was walking around like a zombie all day. So actually, what I've done, I've taken myself off all my medicine except for my heart medicine. I did go see my heart doctor the other day, and he changed uh, he changed my medicine on me that I've been taking for ten years. Uh, he told me I needed to get off the one because. Uh, he checked my fingers and my fingers were uh, starting to when it's cold weather they turn completely almost white and he said that was from taking that uh, that tetanol that I took I, I've taken it for 10 years so uh, he took me off that and then I was on Altace um, so I was on 2.5 milligrams of that so he upped that to 5 milligrams which is right now it's two uh, capsules at a time until I run out and then I'll refill them and they'll give me five milligrams and he also gave me some pretty good advice uh, he asked me I you know I, my mind I think my mind's going I can't remember if I told you all this or not or or I, I was telling somebody and I don't know if I put it on a video or what but I'll, I'll tell you again but anyway he gave me some pretty good advice uh, you know he asked me what was going on he said he, he sensed something was going on with me and uh, I told him, I said, yeah, Doc, I, I said, I've been dealing with some depression and all that. <laughs> Excuse me, he asked me, um, he asked me about it, and I told him what the problem was. I told him the problem was the kids. That's my main problem, the kids. And uh, he said, well, Gary, he says, uh, I'm not a psychiatrist, and uh, he said, but I'll tell you what. He says, uh, being a stepfather is a hard thing. And he says, uh, he asked me a little bit about Debbie. And I, I told him, I told him some things that, uh, you know, what I've told you, you all in the past. And he said, Gary, he says, I'll tell you what, he says, uh, you need to take care of yourself. And uh, not worry about those kids. He said, let their mother deal with them. And you know, I... I I kind of, uh, I said, you know, it just kind of, I don't know, I've been told that before, and actually some of you have told me that, but when a doctor told me, it just kind of hit home, so I came home, and I told Debbie, I had a big talk with her, I said, you know what, Debbie, I said, here's the way I'm going to be from now on, I said, I don't care if the kids' rooms, I don't care if their clothes fill up to the ceiling. I said, I don't care if they stay up all night. Somebody's beeping a horn at me. Okay. I said, I don't care if they stay up all night. I don't care if they go to bed. I don't care if they got 15 Coke cans sitting around. I don't care. I said, just, I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I said, uh, basically, they're your kids. And if you need my help, you come to me and I'll help you. Other than that. The only people I'm going to worry about is myself and you. I said, because I don't have a problem at all with you. And I said, you know that. You and I could go off and live forever and ever and ever. And uh, I said, my problem are with these kids. And I said, I'm just not going to worry about it anymore. And you know what? I've done that now for a week and a half. I haven't said one word. I mean, I speak to them. If they speak to me, I speak to them. But I don't. I don't go up there and I don't look at their rooms. Oh, and I did tell them the other day, I did the laundry. I did all the laundry and I got four baskets. And I put Debbie's clothes in one basket. I folded hers because she works. I put my clothes in another basket. I put the boys in his basket and I put the girls in his basket, her basket. I carried them up to the room I opened the door, I went in, and I, I took all the clothes out of the basket, 
Now I didn't just throw them in there. I laid like jeans. I laid them out. Shirts. I laid them out, and I laid them in stacks on their bed. Took the basket back downstairs. Did the same thing with the other one. Carried it up. Laid all his clothes on the on the bed. Shirts, pants, and I didn't even match the socks. I just dumped all the socks right on the bed. They came down for supper. And I says, oh, I said, I guess I did tell them this. I said, I guess you've seen your clothes up there. I says, I don't fold clothes anymore. And I said, your mother doesn't either. I said, her and I are not folding clothes anymore. I said, you know, it's up to you. And that's all I said. And um, so they both kind of looked at me funny like, uh, gee, you know, he's not going to fold my, no, I'm not folding their clothes anymore. They're big. They're they're 15 year olds. They tell me all the time they're big teenagers. So big teenagers, they can fold their own damn clothes. I'm done with it. I've been getting out of the house. I've been going and seeing my son. I've been over. I go over about every other day. Let me see how many minutes I got here. I'm only up five. I go over and uh, I've been going over about every other day. I've been leaving the house around 10:30. I turn my cell phone off. I go see my son my ex-wife's there I don't care I don't care if she knows Debbie knows it or not um, I go visit them I hang out with them all day and even my son told me the other day I was over there yesterday and he says you know what dad he says I told mom he says dad seems so much happier since he's uh, he's coming over here every other day because I'm not sitting in the house doing nothing you know, I I, I I did tell him this. Let me back up a little bit. I said, the downstairs is mine. I said, you mess it up, you better clean it up. I said, but other than that, I said, the upstairs, other than my bed, our Debbie and I bedroom, we take care of it. And I take care, I do take care of the downstairs because it's only right. Debbie works all day. She gets up at 5 o'clock in the morning, works till, you know, she doesn't get home till 10 after 4. By the time she gets home, it's actually 4.30. And and I, I realize that. She's tired. So, I mean, I sit home all day. I should do something. So I take care of the downstairs. I come back from taking her to the bus in the morning. I even stay out until I know the kids are gone. I don't even... Because normally I could get back to the house by uh, 10 minutes till 7. And, and they don't they don't walk out till about 8 minutes after 7. So I go park somewhere. I drink my coffee. I don't want to. I don't want to go there because used to. I'd get home at ten minutes till seven, five minutes till seven, and and all I heard upstairs was them fighting over who's going to use the bathroom and screaming and the boy screaming at her to get out. She goes back to bed all the time. She'll get up when her mother leaves, but then she'll go back to bed, and then he's up there screaming at her, trying to get her up. So I don't want to listen to that. So I just I just stay out until I know they're gone. She comes in at night after school. She like right now. She's home three o'clock, and I guarantee you she's in bed. Last night she slept until eight thirty. She came down. She she says, uh, "What's for supper?" And I just looked up at her. She says, "You know." She asked me. She's when what's for supper, Gary? I said, I'm sorry. I said, you missed it. I said, your mother tried to get you up. I says, uh, you missed supper. I said, you fix whatever you want. There's stuff in there. Oh, I don't know how to fix nothing. I said, well, I guess you better learn then. Because I says, I'm not, I says, 8.30 at night and I'm not getting up and cooking. And her mother was sitting right there and she told her, she says, uh, go eat some popcorn or something. So the kid didn't eat last night. That's her problem. And then she, what she does, she sleeps till 8.30, and then she goes, she can't go to bed. And then it's 2.30, 2, 2.30 in the morning, she's, she just goes to bed, and then has to get up at 6. So what do you expect? So anyway, uh, I just thought I'd come on and uh, say hi to everybody and tell you I am feeling uh, a lot better. And I'm going to try not to even be on any medicine at all other than my heart medicine. I'm... I just realized that uh, uh, that's the best way to handle it. I do feel pretty good. 